hello my lovely people welcome back to my channel i greet you according to your time and the time you are seeing this video we are still on the gist from the palace of Oni of Ife, my people. Mm -hmm. You see this matter be, uh, between the king and uh, Queen Naomi is never going to end, not anytime soon, unless uh, when God decides. Because from what we are hearing alleged, they said the king visited Queen Naomi with uh, a gift of a new, a brand new armored land cruiser. Hmm. Recall that uh, they said. Uh, uh, the king made preparations for Queen Naomi to come back uh, to come to this Ologio festival that uh, that they just finished, but she did not come. In as much as they said the thing, uh, the king wasn't happy about her about her declining and uh, disappointing him. Uh, they said he went to visit her and got her a gift of a brand new Amod Land Cruiser. A lot of people are uh, beginning to ask. Is, is there something that these two are not telling us? Or is, is there, okay, like uh, la last time we heard that the Oloris were telling the king, it's like when Naomi is using something on him and all of that. But others are saying uh, the reason for this gift could be because uh, when Naomi have threatened to uh, get a restraining order against the king because. We do know that they said Queen Naomi uh, live in Lagos, in Lake Lagos, and her main reason for going to that place is because she don't want all these Oloris who are visiting her to be visiting. So they, they don't know where she is living. And she had been keeping it private until uh, Mariam followed the king. And he sent people that follow the king and now they know where she is living something that she doesn't like something that she have been avoiding and they say she is so so mad at the king who uh, who is the real cause because had it been the king did not visit her uh, Mariam wouldn't have sent those people they might not even know where she is living so she said she is uh, getting a restricting order against the king. After all, that she's no longer uh, she's no longer interested in the king's marriage, so she, he doesn't have any right to be visiting uh, her the way he she, he is visiting. In as much as some people will say eh, he is visiting to see his son, Prince Tadenikawa, and all of that, we do know that if truly these people dissolve their marriage the way the king is visiting. Uh, she wouldn't he wouldn't be visiting Queen Naomi like that even though he, he wants to see his son he will make an arrangement with Queen Naomi Queen Naomi might decide to uh, bring Tado to a certain uh, location for him to meet with his son so but they said the king who believes that uh, his life is incomplete with Queen Naomi uh, went to beg Queen Naomi to please don't try that that he is going to break down if he tries that against him because he loves him so so much and no matter what uh, Naomi do or say that he will always come back that a lot of people are expecting him to be angry for the fact that uh, Naomi did not attend the Olojo festival even when he disappointed the Oloris he treated them uh, in a wrong way just for uh, Queen Naomi, you know, but yet Queen Naomi disappointed him that instead of him to be happy that he understand that he has messed up and on that note he is not uh, uh, going to be mad at Queen Naomi, but rather he has come to beg, you know to beg Queen Naomi to please forgive him, not to get the restriction order against him and uh, and uh, that divorce that is still on, in court that he sh she should do something about it that he is promising to change and to fix their marriage and all of that hmm. and a lot of people are saying that uh, the way this king is going about this whole thing others are saying is because when Naomi happens to be the king is when Naomi's first love as a matter of fact from what we are here in the is the king who is virgin her so it is never going to be easy for him to let Queen Naomi go. Even Queen Naomi too, it, might, it, it is never going to be easy for her to let go. And that is why sometimes it looks as if she is quiet about this whole thing. You know, she is not voicing out. She's not a... Uh, uh, she somehow... This, let me tell you, this situation is complicated. 
One is because the king is Queen Naomi's first love. Second is because uh, Queen Naomi have a child for the king, not just a child, the heir apparent to the throne. And again, uh, royalty is involved, is, is, as in how will I put it? If, it's if it is just ordinary uh, marriage, it would have been easier. But the way it is now, uh, it's not going to be that easy. And coupled with the fact that that traditional uh, covenant is there too. So there are a lot of things to be considered in this case. It's not something that the way we online in-laws are seeing it, it is not that easy. And even the honorees in the palace, the king is not treating them right, uh, all because of Queen Naomi. Uh, but that is what they deserve, if you ask me. They deserve it because they see this too. They know that they love themselves. Just because they want to answer honorees, they want to belong, they want to be counted among the royal uh, class and all of that, they put their head into it. Let me tell you, most of them are regretting it right now. They are really regretting it because they are beginning to believe that uh, when Naomi is using something on the king because the king is acting abnormal to them. Yes, when someone has been rejecting you, disappointing you and all of that, but yet you keep begging, you keep going after that person. They said the most embarrassing part of this whole thing uh, to the Oloris is the way the king is going after when Naomi every now and then and yet when Naomi keeps embarrassing him, degrading his, uh, his class, forgetting that he's a first-class monarch uh, who should have every woman at his beck and call. But uh, it doesn't work like that in certain situations, especially with some uh, kind of a person, like someone like this uh, Olori Naomi. She's not the type to be messed up with, you know? She's just quiet though, and the God is speaking for her. People are speaking for her. That is to tell you the kind of grace that she carries. Let me tell you, when grace speaks, protocols will not be observed. And in this situation, you can see that it is the grace of God that is upon Queen Naomi, that is speaking for her, that is making the king do all these things that he is doing. Normally, he's not supposed to be doing it. Let's, if you take away uh, Queen Naomi in the picture, I don't think there's any other woman that the king can go gaga like this over the person. Begging the person every now and then, even when the person decides, imagine declining uh, this uh, invitation to Olojo festival. And yet, instead of the king to be mad at her, he went with a very expensive car because this uh, land cruiser cost a lot of millions. Begging. Oh, my people, that is grace. So, that is grace. You see, in this life, always pray that the grace of God will be too much for you and whenever it is like that the way things will be going well for you you'll be surprised and that is one thing most of these oloris did not have and that is why they are worried and facing this trouble in the marriage anyways my people now so we hear them don't forget that they are all alleged information okay always bear that in mind that they are not for standing information thanks for watching please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you're here to subscribe if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for your support bye for now love you guys please share this video